Ryan. Welcome to the Hunt Me Show, brought to you by Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. Well, it, I already had his brother on here before, but now I got his younger brother on here, Bree Central singer Connor Freeze, joining me tonight. Connor, what's up? Not much. Man, you're getting set for baseball. The baseball season starts uh, Thursday where you guys play, I believe. You might know who it is. We play Teutopolis at GCS Ballpark. That's what I thought, Teutopolis. That's what I heard from somebody familiar. <laughs> but, uh, Carl, first off, talk about the upcoming season. I know you're in, entering your senior year on the baseball team. Um, what are you looking forward to this season? I'm looking forward to a great season. Hopefully we can put some wins together and make a run in the playoffs. I know one of the toughest games that you guys will probably play, I always hear it every time, is probably modern day usually. Isn't that right? Yeah, they're usually a pretty good team. <laughs> oh, yeah, I always I hear say, a lot about that. <laughs> I would say Columbia or Freeburg will probably be one of the tougher ones too, but We'll see how it goes. Yep, and I read uh, last year, um, pretty good season for you. Your junior year, it was pretty good. You finished with a 392 batting average, 34 RBIs, 40 doubles, 30 triples, and whatever it says on here. I don't know what that's right. I okay. don't know. I don't know. I know the average was 392, which that's pretty awesome. I don't know. might. She got all mixed up here. Yeah, that sounds that sounds about right. You're probably reading like team. I know. <laughs> I know that's my fault. I read that wrong. <laughs> yeah, but three ninety seven. That's good, man. That's good. I, I mean, I usually see you hit the ball quite a bit sometimes, and then, uh, you know, I always hear a funny guy in the stands. Usually, if you know who that is. Yeah. And now we're gonna go to the biggest thing. Uh, but most people do not know this, but your brother goes to every one of your games, and uh, I always, but he's probably one of your, uh, I'm not sure what kind of fan I should put this year. <laughs> I would say biggest fan, is that right? I, I would definitely say Colton is my biggest fan for sure. Even though most people did not know the story about Colton when he was young, he fell and your whole family fell in love in baseball because your dad played in college and played at QU where you're going, where you're going to be next year. Uh, sure. But Colton battled through a brain tumoratic injury at birth. Most people, most of you do not know this, but uh, Colton played through it. Three played through sports with one arm. And you know what? <laughs> the stuff I hear about, the stuff I hear about, this is pretty cool. To watch your brother play a sport with one arm, this is pretty awesome to hear. Yeah, it is. It's pretty cool growing up and watching him play and go through the adversity that he did and be able to achieve the things he did. That's right, but most importantly, he goes, anytime you hear some, every time I bring out Cardinal Baseball or something, it's always... Colton's at Colton's at Bush Stadium, or he's not at Bush Stadium. Me and him talk quite a bit, and you know what? That's the love. That's the love of sports that Colton enjoys. Oh yeah, he he knows every stat, every player. He he thinks he knows everything about what the Cardinals should do, but I don't know if I agree with half the stuff he says. But hey, he he, he talks about it. <laughs> Yeah, I hear it all the time from him. I'm, as you know, as you know, our dads are just alike when when it comes to baseball or something. You know how that is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, one of the things I see on the roster for Bree Central Baseball is they get set for the upcoming twenty twenty three baseball season. Will kick off Thursday evening against Teutopolis and. Uh, 
some of the returning guys I see a lot of familiar faces I've seen before that are returning, Connor, right? Yes. That's correct. And I see like guys like Cody Dickshot and uh let's see, I got Chase Lewis is one of them. I mean, I enjoy watching some of these guys when I when I think it was guys a sophomore year where uh I uh got familiar with some of the faces on the team. Yeah, you came down, I think we were playing a It was playing, a double header. You're we playing Greenville and I know the other team was called. I forgot. We whooped them though. <laughs> you came down and you watched both those games. Uh huh. Because I came down uh, and had some fun for uh, your brother's birthday. That's one. I remember. I remember sitting there. I was hitting. I was getting heckled. I was like, "Who is heckling me?" And I turned around. It's Hunt Colton, my own plate. <laughs> I, was, I was like, I was like, I was, I was supposed to be fans of your heckling me. I was kind of confused, but hey. <laughs> here here's a here's a good question here's a funny one for you what is the funniest thing that colton has ever done in the stands oh i i try not to look up there <laughs> i hear him i've heard him say a couple of choice words but you know he i'll tell you this though if i when i do good he lets me know if i do bad he really lets me know <laughs> <laughs> I think I hear it before all the time. After well, he probably calls games. you right after the game's over. Yeah, he always is like, "Oh, Connor did terrible tonight. He did good that." I'm like, "What?" Then again, I could go, I could go three for four with two doubles and a single, and then have like four RBIs, and he'd still be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing is. The reason how you, I know probably most of the reason you got into baseball because of your dad who actually played in college. And you know what? What is the what is the most important thing that your dad has taught you throughout the years? Oh, there's a long list of things, but he, you know, just being able to handle adversity and stay positive in situations. And then just being able to stay there with me through all the tough times and through all the and through all the good times too, sticking with me and you know, I don't know, just really staying with me there, you know. <laughs> I think I watched a funny video clip of your dad one night. I think it was him hitting off the tee, and that leg kick, that leg kick of his, made me laugh so hard. <laughs> that high yeah, leg well, kick. <laughs> so, so what tends to happen is. I, I'm hitting, and then he, like, he's got the perfect swing, apparently. So he hops <laughs> on the team. We got, we got to record his swing to see how it compares to mine. And then, you know, <laughs> you get talking about that. <laughs> Roger still looks good at his age when he's swinging a baseball bat. <laughs> yeah, I like to see him facing pitching. <laughs> he should probably stick to golf now. <laughs> I know him, my dad. I, I get my dad going sometimes on this. I'm like, how come you and uh, old Roger Freeze haven't been out playing golf lately? What's this about? He goes, I didn't have time to. I'm like, well, I've been hearing that you guys are both retired from playing golf, or what's going on? Yeah, I tell you, my dad is definitely not retired playing golf. <laughs> <laughs> Mississippi playing like four days in a row. That's right. And uh, so, like, uh, who 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 is one of the your guys that always has your back? Sometimes, whenever like you make a mistake, um, on the team, like teammate wise, who's one of the guy those guys that always tells tells you like what you did wrong or what you what you had to do or whatever. Teammate, or are you talking like coach? Like like teammate wise or coach? Either one. Yeah. I mean, Chase, Chase Lewis is always there for me, you know. He's always willing to help and talk whenever it's needed. And then Coach Meyer, he's really good being able to pick you up when you're down, give you tips, and be able to pick you up when you're down. I already said that. But, you know, he's, he's a, Coach Meyer's a great leader. Love playing for him. Yeah, I I have I think I've got to meet Coach Meyer before. I believe it was maybe, I think it was, I think it was during the playoff, your first round of playoffs, I believe it was. I saw him in the parking lot, and I 
recognize him. I'm like, that's got to be Coach Meyer, isn't it? And I'm like, oh, he's in his costume and stuff because his whole family was dressed in was uh, Monsters, Inc., I believe that's oh, right. You're talking, about, you're talking about the football tailgate. Right? Yeah, the football tailgate is when I saw him. I'm like, I'm like you now I remember this guy. And now <laughs> Coach Meyer will enter his uh, second year as head coach, right? Yep, that's right. Yep. Um, I know uh, I've. I don't think I've ever talked to him before about things, but what's I as as you just said before at the beginning, you're like, Coach Myers pushing you guys to make it far in the playoffs, which is right. That's yeah. what I hear what I hear some a lot. But yeah. Coach Meyer, I I enjoyed watching the guy coach and I mean he does an amazing job. I, I enjoyed watching him. Yeah. Give me slide. <laughs> oh yeah, now here comes the I think everyone might laugh at this one, but uh, <laughs> is it? Whenever you, <laughs> the funniest thing that you hear for Colton was, is one of them, didn't he uh, say, um, what is it? Oh, he said, oh, he said, uh, Connor, you got to get your body in front of the ball. I'm like, is that, yeah, didn't that- he say that one game? Does it that Greenville game, yep. <laughs> that, that was probably one of the one of the things I had to say. Now I'm like, is it true that Colton told you to get your body in front of the ball? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he yelled it. I think everybody heard it. <laughs> yeah, because I was sitting right by him. Yeah. <laughs> and you're, and I, I'm not sure if you asked me after the game. You're like, is your? Do you ever do this where your brother does something wrong? And I'm, and I told you, eh, sometimes, but. <laughs> I let my dad handle it. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh man, I am looking forward to this season. I, as I tell my parents all the time, I'm like, I really got to go down there again. I know it's Connor's senior year. I need to get down to another. I need to get down to a game again. Yeah, but, you but whenever, whenever I don't have anything going on, uh, I don't think I know QU plays at McKendry. Uh, the week that you're at home for a double header, I'm like, I better wait another time because I probably got to be at a QU game. But uh, I need to. I like to look at QU game whenever they're in. They're at McKendry. I don't know. It's me. <laughs> you you want you want to come down, watch me play, and watch QU play. <laughs> you have to I'm pick for, which game. I'll be, I'll be out there watching a couple of games. That's right, and. Uh, one of the games I saw, I heard from your brother Colton. He said, "Hey, uh, one of the hey, one of the games are at Bush Stadium." And I'm like, "Wait, what?" And that what? is correct. I saw on the schedule it said April 22nd at Bush Stadium. What was it like last year um, when the team played at Bush Stadium? Was this real? Which it was. It's a really cool experience for all you high school kids to play yeah. at a. MLB Stadium. Yep, it's awesome. So I, I will tell you this. The ball flies through the air differently in that stadium. I don't know. Yeah. It, was, it sounds weird, but the ball just, like, floats around there. It's, it's weird to me. And then every, and when you hit the ball, it sounds so much better in the stadium than it does anywhere else. I know, because uh, when I watch several videos or – I think it was one time I was down at batting practice and I watched the Cardinals uh, take take VP and I'm like, that ball, I'm like, I was down on the field, I'm like, that ball does, goes in the air like that far. Yeah. I'm like, good Lord. But, hey, that's awesome. Like this year again, you're going to, who knows, are you going to get more pile of dirt and put it in a cup to save? I got it. Your, I know you got one already hanged up on the wall. Uh, three quarters full of dirt from Bush Stadium. That's full. Yeah, sitting on the mantle. There's. Oh, I, I've seen that before. I'm like, that's the dirt. Yeah. Bush yeah, because what's that dirt feel like? Like hard as a rock, or is it kind of uh, like actual <laughs> dirt? Yeah, when you slide, it's pretty hard. I will say that. <laughs> <laughs> when you're standing on home, when you stand on home, it's like concrete. That dirt 
don't move. Oh my goodness, man! That that's awesome for all you you get you guys to play a game at Bush Day, and that's really cool. Like, mm-hmm. I had never watched any like high school team play at Bush Day, and before I would like to see that one time in my life. I'm a, I'm pretty sure I'm going to play there again this summer with my senior legion team. Hey, nice, so nice. I think I'm going to play there twice. Uh huh. That hey, but hey. That's a place that I anytime I go to a Cardinal game or whatever, it's going on there at Bush Stadium. You know, you know, me and Colton just sit there in the stands like this is a place I like calling home. Right here is yep. Bush Stadium because I've St. Louis has been a place I always like being at. Like anytime I'm there, because because mm-hmm. I'm like I'm a huge St. Louis fan. St. Louis sports fan, baseball, hockey, whatever there is, and XFL. That's that's one thing I always go there for. I'm like, I enjoy calling this place home. <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> Hawks, huh? Huh? What are you thinking about the Battle Hawks? Oh, yeah. oh, the Battle Hawks? Oh, they're awesome. Like, that's sold out. What was it? One of the games were sold out. It was Sunday's game. I watched it on my computer because I was watching something else on the TV and I put the game up on my computer. And I'm like, that's an NF- XFL record right there, the setting of attendance. I'm like, holy cow. Really? That's crazy. But hey, Connor, I appreciate you talking. I'm looking forward to attending some Breeze Central Baseball home games. Maybe this spring, let's hope I do. I would really like to. Oh, no. Probably, probably maybe, it's, maybe it's by myself because, you know, I usually like driving down myself because I don't – because you know how I am. I like to go places on my own <laughs> sometimes. But, hey, it's good chatting with you. I'm looking forward to the season. Uh, I'll talk to you later, buddy. All right. Thanks for having me on. Yep. Thank you.